Can we actually get that cut out? Yeah. Oh. God, uh, wow. Uh, what an oopsie. intro, guys. Uh, we're gonna. Uh -oh. We're gonna. We're still gonna play it. Here's anyway, the well, story. Oh. I have my own theme song for us. Okay. Here. Lay it on us, Robert. Here's the story of Ooh. some lovely incels. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Robert, that doesn't sound very flattering at all. At least, at least Dalton had. <laughs> Powerful guitars. I know. I was trying to goof around. <sighs> Robert, come I on. I heard the intro last <laughs> week and I got jealous. I was like, these are some hard rocking dudes and I wish I was a part of it. Yeah, you punched a, good, a, you punched a, a hole intro. in the hotel yeah. wall and yeah. no one was there to see and give it, you a high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I punched a wall, not out of anger, just wanting a bro around me. I, I did. Mm -hmm. That that does get you a little pumped. It, it makes us look like we're too cool and proactive, though, yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, mm. Welcome to Loud Boys, everybody. I'm back. So, we're back. Uh, we're back. The Loud Boys are back. Yeah. Eid no more Mubarak. of these. Yeah. Who's that? Eid Mubarak. Yeah. He's a, Is that one of your uh, thrash metal lead singers no, you like? A, he's a black man with a library card. Yeah, Eid Mubarak. <laughs> Rest in peace, Michael K. Williams. Oh, yikes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know oh, why he got yikes. killed? Omar going. He was a black man with a library card. Really? Yeah. Most dangerous thing in America. Oh, mm. come on. Do we know how What about died? a black guy with a gun? Yeah, he jumped out a window in season five and fell to the <laughs> yeah. ground. No, yeah, it, was like, imagine... it was like fentanyl. By the way, my friend, let me introduce our guest. Uh, my friend from LA, you might know him from his really funny videos. Uh, he's I've known him literally since college. Uh, Sam, aka at Real Online Boy, is here. Everybody, hey guys, what up? What's up, dude? So, hey yeah. man, what's up? I'm, <laughs> I'm a Patreon. Oh I wow! Kick, I kick in. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So he won a contest. So we're having our first fan on <laughs> he the show found, here. He this found week. the golden nice, ticket. Yeah. Congrats, dude. Look yeah. at you. And now they you get to eat, have now you get to roll around. up that golden ticket and use it to snort ketamine with Joe. <laughs> That'd be fun. That's the contest. Oh my god, Joe's blowing up like the grape in the fucking <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. What was in that? <laughs> I wish it were cut with fentanyl. That'd be funny. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but there's like different drug rooms. <laughs> like, yeah. you see, you'll see the ketamine room. From the twisted mind of Tim Burton. He's, I hate he's this He's doing new, another one. By the way, I hate the new trailer thing of saying from the twisted mind of whoever the director is. Like, we know it's twisted. They're artists. Yeah. yeah. That's a good well, look, I'm already buying the Hot Topic hoodie of this movie. Yeah. Stop trying to <laughs> sell me on the product. Uh, from the twisted mind of Matt Marin, his mind is literally in a twist because he has brain removed. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm back, everybody. I was gone for two weeks. Um, I'll just I'll get it out of the way. My uh, I was gone because my friend died. Uh, I had a friend pass away. Uh, so I'm going. Someone call. I don't know how to put this, but I'm going through a difficult time. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. I mean, uh, I didn't know if you were going to talk about it on the show or not. We don't have to talk no, about it. No, we don't have to talk about it too much. much I just want to let people, if I'm not like, I mean, I'm sure the people, you're never good, but if I'm not, if I'm not as good, I don't know. What, what do you want to say? It's fine, man. Don't worry about them. Yeah. Fuck these people. Dude, the people, the people that listen to this show, and I mean all of them, <laughs> yeah. including our 507 patrons. Mm-hmm. Fucking idiots. Yeah, we hate you. They stop giving us money. Yeah, stop giving us you money. Fucking dogs. Stop being mean to Robbie. Yeah. And especially stop being mean to me. Oh, especially <laughs> Dalton. If there's anyone who doesn't deserve scorn, it's Dalton. <laughs> Everyone, leave him alone. Stop giving us money. You know what? You can be mean to Joe. Report the Patreon, please. <laughs> it's actually, it's, <laughs> technically, our Patreon is a hate crime. Yeah. All right. You're essentially funding the alt right. Yeah. Stop giving us money. <laughs> it's wrong. It's not okay. Tweet about us to Seth Simons. If we're not on his radar yet, he deserves to know. Yeah, yeah Seth should know what <laughs> we are. Distribute the Patreon episodes. It's it's there. Uh, we don't. It, uh, it's not about the money anymore. We've, we've seen the error of our ways. We we're visited by the ghosts of three dead podcasters. It, guys, if you like us, please. Hack into our Patreon and dox the people giving us money. Yeah. <laughs> Get their addresses out there. I, I like just took out a small business loan so I could buy Kath Barbadoro dinner. <laughs> 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 it's also funny to make that joke as a fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> You're also fat. Well, well that's fat. why I took out the loan. It's like a fucking, it's a dual mortgage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to get a reverse mortgage so I could go to uh, Joe's Crab Shack with Kath Barbadoro. Joe, oh, Joe when'd you get a Crab Shack? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> well, that's what I call my boxer shorts. <laughs> oh, crab Shack was it my ex-wife? All right, okay. Yeah, she was a little crabby. Uh, real quick on Seth Simons, I don't spend too much time thinking about that guy, but I did. Robbie sent me this like a month or two ago. He tweeted oh. something about uh, Dave Smith and uh, 
I don't happen to like Dave Smith personally. Why? But, uh, oh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> man, but no one wants to talk about anything on but, yeah. Sam, but, like, but what are you doing, man? But you like, come I don't. On. But I, I don't care. Like, I, I just worked things out with him. It was. It, oh, you're. It, all right, oh, go you ahead. didn't do anything. I just my person. I don't hate the guy. I just don't. He's not my favorite guy. But I don't think he should be canceled or something. Is having, it because of what happened with him and Dalton? You don't like? Yeah, him? I'm really just defend, def- defensive of Dalton. Oh, oh, but no, yeah, Seth like. <laughs> Screen grabbed like forty five seconds of of Dave Smith making complete sense for like like I don't I don't agree with much of Dave Smith's politics but he actually made sense for like maybe forty five seconds or ninety seconds I agree dude six million sounds like too much <laughs> but but fucking Seth was like he tweeted like Dave Smith is such an idiot what a fucking racist idiot and he has ten thousand followers and it was up for a day and it got two likes mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean that is. So fucking well, that's, bad. Well, that's because people aren't even interested in the truth, to be honest with <laughs> what you. What is the truth, though? Dave it's Smith's a, a racist yeah. idiot, but I can't say that. I gotta <laughs> keep the... Pe- no. Adult. I, look, I, such I, in my opinion, I think he's part of the problem. <laughs> Only on Gas Digital. Oh, yeah, yeah. Use the, promo code LOUDBOY. Use promo... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, he. Well, I've talked. But these are like ostensibly Seth's fans who would like stuff. Like they, they intentionally followed him, and they... Two of them out of ten thousand <laughs> in a twenty-four hour period, but like this I, is good. I'm willing to bet most of the people that follow that guy are people who are just doing it to hate him. Like I, I don't know. I think no, he got. I, a, I thought he got a pop. I think he got a pop after the Shane thing, and then people just kind of like were like, oh, I don't care about this. Yeah, he. I said this on Rap the last time I was on, but he's he's just Minkus from Boy Meets World. He's just like he's a Minkus. What's you know that, that remember that Minkus? Actor? No, I don't. That child actor who wasn't quite Sean Hunter. Uh, but he was like the smart one who Mr. Yeah, Finn was he was always... Minkus was the one with the glasses and he was like, mm, I'm gay. I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> he was Corey? smart. He was like a white Corey, yeah. <laughs> Corey and Topang are fingering yeah, each other in the hallway, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Finney. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's uh, Minkus. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he really is. Damn, mm, Dave Smith Damn. said the N-word on Remember how big, Remember how big that cut was? That haircut Everyone was? Everyone had a fucking middle school. school. Cut in the 90s. Why did God. that, why did anyone think that looked Good because it was like it was like for kids, it was like manageable, so they could still have like a shaggy cut. Looks like a lot of girls, and I've seen it clean around that's what we call the pussy. That's what Brooklyn girls wear now. They, them ass bitches, (laughs) love the bowl cut. Yeah, yeah. back in my day, that was a pussy getter. Back in the early to mid 90s, you'd be 10, 11, 12, you'd be fucking all the topangas with this haircut. If you did, if you had like a cool trapper, that's damn man. I went, I got. I got myself some Topanga last oh, night. Oh, dude, I got some Topanga with that haircut. That's dude, Topanga's a banger, now, dude. NYU class of 2023 haircut right there. Yeah, yeah. now nah, they them, them, they them ass bitches, <laughs> then they... Black, black non-binary. Black non They them. They them, <laughs> they, they them <laughs> ass bitches be having that haircut taking all the pussy from me. <laughs> they them. Now I got... Non-ass binary. Dalton, you're a quarter black, is that right? I'm a quarter black. <laughs> Yikes. An octoroon. <laughs> That's what they call us. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. That's my contribution. I mean, that is. That's your Larry the Cable Guy, Dalton the Octoroon. Dalton the Octoroon. Yeah. Get her. Get get that shit done. Get that. Get that. <laughs> Get that bitch out of here. Get that shit done. That's my get her done. Yeah. Get that bitch out of here. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, rip. so I'm Dalton the Octoroon. Tong, you seem so happy that I'm back. I'm very, I'm very happy to have <laughs> you back, Robbie. Mad dude. He looks so because yeah. I watched the one two weeks ago, and Dalton looked like he was having a. Oh, he was the, a time a, a blast that hasn't been seen on this show. Yeah. Over a year. <laughs> he got to be the star, dude. Yeah, it was Dalton and the other guys. Like he always yeah. wanted. Oh. Now Dalton, Dalton now looks yeah. like the first day of school. Summer's yeah. over. <laughs> Mom and dad are back. Hold on, hold on. The first... <laughs> Look. Oh my. And I can't stay up to 11 watching Ghostbusters anymore. Oh, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> welcome back, y'all. <laughs> Look, let me say that the first new school supplies. The first yeah, I do, hat. I do enjoy new school supplies. <laughs> I, I did enjoy going back to school shopping as a kid and getting new really? notebooks and pins and no binders. One liked that. That was I fun. fucking, I yeah, like I shopping. fucking hate that. I like yeah. shopping. No. Women be shopping. Girl brains be shopping. And That's I be sh- I shop with my mom. I still get depressed around fall when I see fucking back to school ads it's no. such a bummer yeah because you're like damn i gotta go back to school, I school yeah. dude no I matter, still no matter how cool that. your binder is the first or, day yeah. of school was always it was always like yes there's change coming summer's over it's time to get serious again back to reality but it also came with the hope that maybe this year 
I'll talk to a girl. <laughs> that, that never, dude. And I never did. <laughs> I talked to girls, but they really like to just talk and never do anything. Yeah, maybe really? this year. Damn, dude, I was getting... I was a big uh, friend-zoned fat guy. Yikes, you know dude. I, mean? I was getting my dick sucked left and fucking right <laughs> in elementary school. I was like, what, what's up, bitch? You like you like this fucking two-wheeler yeah. I got, dude? What, yeah. were, what were his... Uh, what were his, uh, his uh, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. I'm what were his names? I get it. What were his I get it. I get it. I get it. A man sucked my cock. A man sucked my cock and I boy. came in his mouth. I get it. I, I fucked a man. Yeah, in sixth grade, Joe really tore through the whole first grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe lost his virginity when he was 12 to a five-year-old. <laughs> and he kept yelling Romeo and Juliet law. Nobody knew what the noise was. Yeah, it's, it's, what, it's what Joe likes to call a gray area and it's what we like to call gray. Gross. <laughs> I'm picturing Joe. I'm picturing Joe doing a, a school of rock about the age of consent in every state. <laughs> it's like not remotely accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is New Jersey. Did you know it's 13? <laughs> the fucking age of consent in like 19 or 1895. I forget where, but somewhere in the U.S. was 10. Isn't that fucking oh, wild? Whoa. Marty, we gotta go back! Yeah. You just see you see Joe's hat spinning. <laughs> there's a Joe-shaped hole in the wall. The mic's pick up cum hitting pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this one beyond the page. Alex, <laughs> Alex, great new sound drop. Oh no, that's just Joe <laughs> coming at the thought of the age of consent being under eleven. <laughs> I was uh, thinking about... 311, that's a band that's named after Joe's... The age that Joe... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like two-year-olds. Yeah. Whoa! We all have a he's, lot. Not, he's not disgusting. I mean, he... he, he there's, yeah, there's I'm, a, I'm a gentleman. Yeah. Amber is the name of a kid I fucked. Whoa! <laughs> She's only nine, and she uh, doesn't get her period. All right. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. Nice. Uh, Ooh, I was boy. thinking about Noah the other day, because it's like in the Bible, it all gets flooded. Oh, the boat guy? The boat guy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm no the guy who kind of has heard of the Bible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the boat. No, the boat guy. The boat guy. The guy who got pussy on that boat. Like, girls love boats. That's what. That's that why is. I was wondering. Is like he's on the boat. With I just call him his... Captain Zookeep. Do you, Captain do you really? Zookeep. <laughs> yeah. Robbie, do you really? I do. I, I got. They didn't. I was not well liked in youth group. Yeah. I believe. I was that. just wondering. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like Noah is on the boat with just his wife and daughters and two of each animal. Hell yeah! So he's definitely like, and it says pretty explicitly that he fucked his daughters Who on hasn't? that boat. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, how long did it take before we were back to not having to fuck? Someone we were relate like how long did it take for the gene pool to diversify again? Well, I mean, I you're got, technically I got a better question. To everybody, for you. so how how long were they on the ark before uh, Noah was like, "Crack open that pussy, daughter. <laughs> I want to fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking horny as hell, and I can't take. Yeah, I know God's eventually gonna drain, but I don't know fucking when. And yeah. I got it's fuck. like Noah. Did God Noah, gave them a, any kind of roadmap for after they got off the boat. Yeah, you it's, know? it's like Noah's looking at the F mini blinds, and he goes, he goes, God. looks like rain, babe. Kids, get in the boat. We're fucking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna do some 311. Yeah, he, and they're like, we don't know. We don't want to go fucking the boat again. He's like, no, this is the one. He's been fucking them for a while, actually. <laughs> Hell yeah. He, every time it rains, <laughs> Noah takes his wife and kids onto a boat and fucks all of them. <laughs> and, but anytime it doesn't flood, he's like, well, but, you know, next time. And then when it finally floods, this he's like, see? Drill. See? <laughs> good, good thing we were prepared for the flood. Now, let's get to fucking. <laughs> If this boat's a rockin', I'm fucking my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> so, damn. Yeah, you know, the Bible, uh, there's some, like, fucking plot holes in that thing. <laughs> what if, like, what if humanity was meant to be super smart, but because, like, God was aware of that, he made, he intentionally made us inbred by having, like, brothers fuck sisters, and so that way, oh, yeah, like, everyone's, brothers, like, permanently... brothers love the sisters. <laughs> yeah. So we're permanently retarded. <laughs> like, it's impossible for our brains to, like, actually evolve. We actually de-evolved. Right. You because think, God uh, made us in his image, the, and then he was like, uh oh, these, these guys can fucking kill me. Well, that would explain Italians. Yeah. Oh. But, 
let's retard these guys up a bit. Oh, I'm the product of Dude, incest over here. How Did no one have any sons? That, that Did no one have any sons? Yeah, yeah he Ham. He sons. fucked them too. <laughs> fucked Ham. Them Ham was black. <laughs> and he made them fuck the daughters while he watched. No, I had to be getting down with the zebras too. You know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? The zebra. A beautiful horse. Another black guy you met. Yeah. The zebra. The zebra. Zebra. Yeah, well, he's he's also, a comedian. <laughs> yeah. He's also mixed race. That's why he calls himself the zebra. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got I got the I got the swirl. Zebra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I like it. Uh, what was I gonna say? Something about being gay. Something about, <laughs> about you're gay. Something about being a homosexual cock. pedophile. Yeah, something about I fucking am... a man. I think you were talking about. Yeah. It I think we're gonna tell room. a story about sucking some guy's cock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Then it, when you you were just saying like you met some dude and it was <laughs> going kind of well. You want to you want to go? Talk yeah, about that yeah. I met a guy. I met the the barista at my local Dunkin' Donuts, mm -hmm. and uh, he just got to this country from from Yemen. Uh huh. And uh, we really hit it off. I don't be from your men. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, men. Yeah, yeah man. man. I said, yeah, Change that men. Y to an S. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said. Right into my fucking mouth. See, you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you told us this story before the podcast. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm yeah, stepping uh, on your story. Yeah, no, it's okay. I said, I said, yeah, men. See, men in my butt. <laughs> Uh, and then, and then I'm on the semen diet. And then I said, I, <laughs> I see semen, so I eat it. <laughs> and then I said, ice latte with oat milk. And he said, he said, you want sugar? And I said, no, no sugar. And he goes, so ice latte with oat milk with sugar? And I go, no, no sugar. And he goes, you want sugar? And I go, no sugar. And he goes, okay, ice latte with oat milk, no sugar. And I go, yes. And then uh, he made me my ice latte with oat milk. Mm. Still put sugar in it, but I didn't oh. say anything. <laughs> Duncan Donuts. Because yeah. we really vibed. And yeah. I said, thank you. And he nice. said, You got his number after said, that? Uh, I did. I got his number. It's uh, his it number 34. He called it out. Yeah. <laughs> to give him the coffee. It's, yeah. It's not call 911, call the ambulance because my heart is broken. <laughs> That'd be uh, funny. A waitress gives you a number for an order. Dude, I got her number. <laughs> uh, um,. Was that yeah? That's the story I wanted. To tell. That was pretty good, Dalton. I <laughs> that's like a great it. Story, my man. Yemeni burrito. Thanks, thanks for letting me interject. It's very funny to call a guy at Dunkin' Donuts a burrito. Yeah, I, I, he, the, the burrito said <laughs> Dunkin' sick Donuts of these hipster burrito. Yeah, I went to McDonald's and the chef made me this incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I got a I got a glass of wine at Applebee's, and I said, "Is who's the sommelier?" Here? <laughs> because wow, what a recommendation! <laughs> Carlo Rossi, is it? <laughs> Robbie had a great joke back in L.A. There's a uh, grocery store called Gelson's, and he would always joke about taking a girl to a say he was gonna take her to a nice wine bar, and then just bring her to Gelson. <laughs> yeah, because they have like a wine tasting bar oh, in the front of yeah. the grocery store. I would store. love that, dude. I, I, like, I th that's all. Those are always the best dates when you go to hey, a grocery babe. store. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, hey, you've probably had guys take you to a lot of sit down restaurants. Why don't we go hit up the salad bar at Whole Foods? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I like, you and, and then shop. not pay. <laughs> and then she's like, "What? It's expensive. I'm still paying a lot of money." <laughs> Yeah, dude. Man. I've been checking you out. How about we self check out? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do. The zebra. The zebra. <laughs> the comedian. The zebra. The comedian. Zebra to comedian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Dalton, what kind of flavor is that? Red mojito. Yikes. Mm. Very good. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm gay. Uh oh. What do you guys want to talk about? Uh, how about how about <laughs> fucking chicks, dude? Yeah, yeah, I like having sex with Hell women. Yeah. Talk oh, about yeah. it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. What's up, Al? Oh, is that my coffee? Thank you. There you uh, go. Speaking speaking of the barista at Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> Alex yes, is a great old barista. Alex, Alex, by the way, shout out to Alex Scarlato, best barista in podcast. <laughs> Alex, the ha the the barista of gas digital, I call her the. She really knows how to do the the art. She's a head of beans here. Yeah, the head of beans. Yeah. Well, the, Sam. Well, why don't we talk to Sam a little bit? You make very funny videos about being gay and like yeah. sucking off your dad and yeah. stuff like Interesting. that. Interesting. Yeah. Fascinating. Where does that come from? <laughs> uh, probably how I'm gay for my dad. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your your uh, gay parody videos are funny. Thank Alex, you. let's pull up one of Sam's. Yeah, Twitter.com slash real online boy. Real hey, you're not gonna boy. you're not gonna flag us for copyright infringement, are you? I am. Oh <laughs> you. Yeah. No, this I, is a ploy. This is, yeah, this is, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, sent him to bring down the loud boys 
on Sam, the inside. Sam, let me tell you something. We're all of us here know about the art of the deal. <laughs> wow. Right? Yeah. So look, you got to flag us for copyright infringement. And if you copy, if you clip any of this and put it on your site, we're coming at you too, brother. That's the game. The game, as Michael K. Williams once said, the game is the game. The game is the game. And now, yeah. and I think look, the best one to show now he's away dead. would be the Slipknot one, the most recent one. Yeah. That one is doing the best of all of them. All right. Because it's the highest effort. I fucking like. You really Location me. scouted and I fucking bought a keg. You joined Slipknot. I joined to do Slipknot. A <laughs> um, yeah, I bought a keg and a lead pipe. How and, did, by the way, how did Omar die? How did Michael K. Williams the die? Fentanyl. And did so they know did like that? all those fentanyl? comedians. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Wow. I got a. Yeah, oh, yeah, damn. he was like doing. Uh, I think so. I think he was, they said it was a drug overdose, and it might have yeah. been heroin too. It's very sad. Yeah, why? The, what's with the fentanyl and all this? stuff? I don't know, Joe. Dude, talk to your fucking yeah, Joe. Dude, you know what's funny? Joe, Stop you, putting you, fentanyl Joe, in the cocaine. Joe, Joe the old one is you dead it's because funny. of you. It was. It's worth it. It is. Man. It's, it's it is such funny. a fun. It's trip. really funny. It's a good bit to kill beloved it's, black character. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, it, look, it's a funny bit, but it's also you know hurting us. Don't stop. It's really, uh, yeah. <laughs> the more I think about we're it, just, I we're like just it. goofing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? Can, next, can you uh, kill the guy who said she? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Freeman's like, I knew my days were numbered when Joe Gorman showed up to my door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joe, Joe Doorman. Uh oh. Mm. Yikes, dude. Well, I'm sure it's all fine. And yikes, I and you know what? Indeed. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Look, man. Joe's uh, gonna wake up to an overdose and be like, yikes. I can't whoop. fucking breathe. Whoops. Uh oh. Whoopsie daisy. I'm nervous. Not. <laughs> I'm not. Go, not. I'm going to heaven, dude. Yeah, dude. I would. Dude, I absolutely. Dude, God is like, this guy is too cool to damn to hell for all time. Yeah. You yeah. know? <laughs> like, come on, man. I'm chill. Mm hmm. God, yeah, I think, yeah. you're having trouble. No, it's fine. It, it is got... like fentanyl. It's it's like the CIA invented crack mm -hmm. to destroy the black community, mm -hmm. and they did such a good job. <laughs> but who I don't whoever invented fentanyl missed the mark because it's like well you don't want to kill people, you want to get people like addicted to what you're it's selling. Like, it's but, probably like the high grade cocaine. Yeah, it's it's fentanyl. like if this really like, is if the... they're like those rich people doing it because like I'm working class. <clears throat> I got a I got a blue collar guy. He fucking messes. Is it Larry me. the what's, Cable what's guy? What's his name? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Uh, I call him Doctor Snow okay. in my phone. But he messaged. And he was like, "Are you? Hey, I'm just checking, making sure you didn't lose my number or anything." I'm like, "I'm good." Yeah, I'm glad that you have a reputable coke guy. <laughs> yeah, know. he's a, he's noble man. I yeah. fucking uh, honor. You know, I'm his. I'm his. Uh, Bushido. Yeah, I'm his kid's uh, godfather. Yeah, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> Can you imagine? What did that be going? Who's my I'm godfather? This guy I sell coke to occasionally. <laughs> What's well, like? He if trusts they, me. If the Chinese really have invented fentanyl to destroy us from they the inside, they did fentanyl and COVID. Yeah. Damn, they're dude. undefeated, dude. They, they, but it's like, like all these fucking fent coked up bats fent are going to fentanyl descend. killed the Slipknot bassist. Really? An awful fucking day. 10, 10 11 years ago. Oh Horrible yeah. Day. Fentanyl. I was very fucking sad. Dude, it, yeah. It's he, was like, a, he was an early fentanyl It's death. like the Chinese started with new metal. They said, <laughs> they they said, we, we, we hate Wiggers here. Let's see if we can get the Wiggers <laughs> over there. They, yeah, okay. yeah. And so That's they started good. killing all the new metal people. Mm. And now they've worked their way up to actual black guys. <laughs> Everybody right. definitely go to Woodstock 99. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the original super spreader event. Yeah, well... <laughs> Dude, the only thing that could have made that worse if they weren't wearing masks. Yeah. I watched a documentary. I was like, no one's wearing a mask. Well, did you did you know that that both fentanyl fentanyl particles and COVID particles travel faster and stronger uh, on the N word? <laughs> now that's good. They're not giving you that's good. Yeah. I like that. If it's you funny. say the N word, it actually yeah. enhances COVID. I, that's, oh. the, that's the only clip I saw of that, but that was so <laughs> fucking lame. Like. Oh, oh, these, oh, I just got these, it. Just yeah, got yeah. It. Okay, all these okay. white They're people. riding the N-word like Mario when you jump on a bullet bill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that fucking documentary being like, and all these white people were just ready to say the N-word. It's like, yeah, he was like asking them to. He begged and, them to. Yeah, and essentially. It's like they're singing along with a song, and it, it's not 2021. And it's a funny word to say. <laughs> it is. Also, yeah. they were racist. Yeah, so Alex who cares? Not, Alex yeah. is nodding in the booth. <laughs> N-word funny. Yeah, let, <laughs> if more than two white people are saying it, you can say it too. 
<laughs> the Goodwill Hunting, but he just says N word equals funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, he's done it. He yeah. figured out comedy. He looks at he looks at a chalkboard because it's in Boston. It says N I G, and he goes, hmm, wait. <laughs> wait, I think I figured it out. The and then he writes G E R, and they're like, wow, this guy's a genius. Oh my God, this you is look, the fucking smartest yeah. guy we've ever seen. <laughs> he's like, and then, go, and then he's at the other bar, and he goes, do you like? In words, <laughs> boom. How do you like them in words? Do you like Cody? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you like Arizona iced tea? Yeah. yeah. Go- right. So goodwill. I'm gonna find one of your videos, Sam. Goodwill in word uh, producer. Um, Behind a paywall. Paywall. Gay wall. Oh, come look on, at my feet. It's pretty recent. Oh, I got it. Yeah. There it is. Well. We're going to be in Chicago. Oh, really? oh yeah. <clears throat> Let's plug that, please. September yeah. 18th, we're going to be at the Lincoln Lodge in Chicago. That's a Sunday, correct? No, it's Saturday. Saturday. It's a Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Hey, you know what? That helps, that helps the yeah. audience remember. Wednesday, October 22nd, no, we will be at the Saturday, Lincoln Lodge. Saturday, September 18th. When, when are those? What, what time? Uh, 8 7 p.m. 7 and 9.30. <laughs> So Joe, <laughs> shut up. We're actually promoting the show. 7 and 9.30. I love all of our misinformation that we got out there. Yeah, no, it's very... None, fu- of, it, none of it, like... You know, when we're trying to sell tickets and make money, it's very funny to fuck that up, every, Joe. <laughs> every podcaster has misinformation because they want to, like, bring down elites and big pharma. We're just doing it to fuck ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> You guys cannot bear success. We're yeah. already sold Honestly, out. Honestly, yeah. The minute we're not even that successful. We're we not are, even that we successful. We are imploding. I just <laughs> want. I just want to get the goddamn date and time right so I can say that we're. I'm bringing t-shirts. We're gonna be selling <laughs> t-shirts at the show. So Joe, if you yeah. would. Let, I want to know what the actual time of this show is. Nah, Joe, okay. Seven? Seven fourteen. 14. No! <laughs> it's 7 and 9.30 are the times. That is not what the flyer says. Shut up! It says... Lincoln Lodge, Chicago. Uh, September, September 18th. 18th Joe, 7 2001. and 9.30. We will have t-shirts. This is I a think wrestling I'll promo. I really missed us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, looky here, buddy. We'll have t-shirts. You're yes. Trying to, you're trying to t-shirts sell a pay-per-view. that will the make <laughs> all of us money. You're so if we could get the goddamn time right so I can make all of us some fucking goddamn money, Joe, that would be nice. You, September free 18th, t-shirts. 7 and 9.30, there will be t-shirts. Free you're like a, t-shirts. You're like a wrestler trying to They're promote a pay-per-view free. and the other wrestlers are fucking with people and telling the them the t-shirts wrong t-shirts are not free. The t-shirts are $20 each. What? The t-shirts are free. Yo, you're going to pay say people promo $20 code, uh, for the t-shirts. Say promo code part of the problem at the Loud Boy <laughs> Show and we'll give you a free t-shirt. Yeah, you have to be a libertarian. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sam, you got anything you want to plug? Uh, just my Twitter, Real Online Boy. At Real Online Boy. Oh, I also do like very gay, sincere music uh, as Online Boy. But okay. It's nice. not completely dissimilar from my Twitter. That's good, man. Yeah. It's good to have some plates spinning, mm-hmm. some irons in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like T-shirts, which I'll be selling <laughs> September 18th at the Lincoln Lodge in Chicago, twenty dollars each. Seven fourteen p.m. It's at seven <laughs> seven o'clock and nine thirty. Seven o'clock stand-up show. Nine thirty. You'll be turned away podcast. if you show up at seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven fourteen. <laughs> We're sold out almost. So right. buy a ticket now. Damn, I didn't miss you guys. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I can really tell. You're thrilled to be here, doll. <laughs> He's practically bouncing off the walls oh, right now. And the doomsday clock <laughs> inches oh ever God. closer to midnight. Do you want me to pretend to be Matt Marin with that help? <laughs> Robert, please. <laughs> oh, hey, Dalton. Uh, are we having a good time? Uh, it's very I funny when you call him Robert. Robert. Are you okay? Well, no, uh, I put a lot of effort into these t-shirts. I put all a lot of work into it. And these t-shirts are for us. This is an investment in so our So people features. can't buy them? <laughs> People Real can't. online boy, please! <laughs> I'm just trying to get it clear. You're, you're They're trying for to you guys to wear. I, I need Robbie and Joe to buy some of these t shirts that I made so I can make some money back. You're bringing sh- t shirts to the show for them to yeah, buy. Yeah, I want them to buy. Turn I need away. Robbie and Joe to you're buy some be shirts. Away. Listen, There's a line of people who want it. No, and no. It's like, no, I'm and getting them all. So Look, I'm going to wear them a fan it's comes a up, you turn them away. Drop. <laughs> you wait, you go fit, you turn away 15 people, and finally Robbie comes up. You're like, here, finally, I can sell this yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. One, please. Now, can you please buy 35 <laughs> shirts, and then Joe will buy another 35. We'll call it a I day. I don't know why that really got me good. <laughs> and then on the next round, we'll buy the shirts to 
Justin Dalton. <laughs> yes. It's called it's called a perpetual motion <laughs> machine. Yeah. If we just keep buying the shirts from each other, money. Yeah. Just call me Bernie Gadoff. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We're I rich. will. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, Later. Yeah, not right now. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Well, someday. Maybe. That'd be nice. I like, when, of, you, I like of, when you call him Robert. That's very funny to me. Dude, yeah. I'm, I'm fucking proper with Robert, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a little thing called mutual respect. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. <laughs> You're respect. welcome, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Gorman the third. Thank you so Esquire. much. Esquire. <laughs> And Dalton GQ. Yeah, it is a it is Dalton a GQ. wild dynamic Dalton we have. Gay oh, queers. Yeah, to, yeah, Dalton just, gay is queer. Dalton Dalton gay Is that what GQ stands for? Mm-hmm. Gay <laughs> queer. <laughs> a lot of people think it's no wonder for, they're so sharply dressed. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think it stands for gentlemen's quarterly. No, it stands for gay queer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I'm at the dentist, I love to slip through gay queer. Yeah. Magazine. <laughs> Y'all got a copy of the new gay queer. <laughs> Uh, <sighs> fuck, dude. Anyway, what a, what now what it is good plan. to be back. I, we're back in the fucking groove. Dude. Yeah, man. We're back in it, man. Let's play the intro music. <laughs> I think we're. Good. Let's start the show. Yeah. yeah All right. right. Now that we're loose. Down out. Welcome to the, well, yeah. Welcome, out, real boys. online boy. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yes. Th- uh, thank you for. Would you like to do me. a live song right now? Oh God. Acoustic. N- n- probably not. <laughs> I think it'd be better. If- okay. Wait. We have one of Sam's songs we can watch here. All right. It's cool. a Slipknot parody. Thank you. I just starts over. Hell uh, yeah, dude. Dude, banging on the keg is such a nice My yeah. favorite is the, is the very slight dancing in the Chris Christie mask. Yeah. I really like that. Hell yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. I, wow. thought, I thought the mask choice was good. Having Chris Christie and the baby looks like it's coming. The I baby? The baby, yeah. I love it, dude. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I, I bought a fucking keg for that. I thought it was going to be like 80 bucks and I was going to resell, but it was 20 bucks. Oh, wow. Keep and it. I got, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it in like music. Oh, hell yeah. And, yeah. a, and, a, and a fucking metal pipe and I location scouted. <laughs> Just to make the hat. You location scout? I, I did. I went around looking for like a good uh, kind of secluded place to make that. I love envisioning your neighbors just hearing you practice that. Just be like, <laughs> suck <"Sucking penis!" laughs> You know? Dude. The whole neighborhood's just... Well, I, re- I recorded... Fucking dude. stomping around, I, I, screaming about being gay. I've recorded a lot of them at way. home. And they. I'm sure that... They, but I think my downstairs neighbor doesn't speak much English, luckily. So... Hopefully she doesn't know she what, what I'm sucking screaming. penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's penis. sucking a penis. Ay, <laughs> por qué? Well, what does that mean? What could it possibly mean? Por qué sucking penis. <laughs> ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice sucking penis? Sucking my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to indulge myself a lot, but if, if the uh, the other one that's the biggest one is the the Motorhead one, and that's the one that I recorded at home that I think people heard the most. Mm. Mm-hmm. And if, if that could be pulled up, that one might be a good. No, no yeah. more. We no more. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're on it. We, we have a full eight minute song Dalton made. First, and then we can't have play, more than Yeah, two we're gonna of play yours. the intro song, and then we'll then we'll pull up another one of your songs. But let's get let's get into let's get in the news. Let's get yeah, into yeah, wait, wait, in the news. Sam's an insane person, uh, by the way. We should ask him more questions. Uh, oh, what was I just? Okay, I got a. I got the fucking. I got the most important question. Where'd you get that sick ass golden Homer Simpson uh, chain? Uh, I got are you ever worried your outfits are too loud? No, I'm on the loud boy. That's loud a great boys. point. Ooh. Fuck, I've been hoisted by my own retard. <laughs> yeah. I I did consider like, is this too much to wear? Then I'm like, going the fucking. It's not loud enough. Boys. I say. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I should have. I I did consider wearing my Slipknot jumpsuit from that video. That would be cool, man. I decided against it. Just but, uh, this is a this is a pin from a second best pet shop on IG. It's an enamel pin. Oh, interesting. And then I put a, a Cuban links chain from Amazon through it, and it just fits perfectly. Beautiful. I never thought I'd be a chain guy, but links. this just feels so natural. Yeah. Yeah. I dig yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, it does look natural. <laughs> right? It looks like it really fits you. Yeah. I, I, I never would have ever guessed I'd be a chain guy. Yeah. Uh, I like you got chains. a nice Homer Simpson pin. You put it on a $20,000 chain. <laughs> My dad so was a chain damn guy. Good. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a prison guard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
That is is that like a di- is that like a dying thing like a <clears throat> chain? I feel like it was huge in the '90s where everyone was wearing like a chain necklace. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm bringing Joe, it back. I'm yes. the one to bring it back. Is <laughs> yeah, Sam is bringing back bad things <laughs> is, from the '90s. Is bling bling on the new metal chain? <laughs> Excuse is me. It back new metal fucking rocks. New metal is back, awesome. I do like. I actually do like <laughs> new, new metal, metal fucking yeah. rocks. And I know it's bad. I love no. new metal, but I know it's bad. Right? You are, uh-uh. You're mistaken that it's bad. It's actually very good. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm with Sam. Mudvayne is a genuinely sick band. Yeah, Mudvayne. I thought even new metal people didn't like Mudvayne. No, well, their later stuff's not so great, but that first album is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Mm. Bling, 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 oh bling. my god, Burber Dang fucking Bur- rocks. Yeah. Burber Dang, Dang. It fucking Marry rocks. Me. Everything that I Boy, this, uh, this sounds like beautiful <laughs> music. You guys are right. I, I, I will die on the hill of corn rocking. Corn fucking. Oh, yeah. We're on gas corn? digital. This is not the yeah. place to say new metal sucks. No, I like it. I'm, but I'm saying it's like bad. You know what I mean? It's no, like uh, it's like McDonald's. Cool. You know? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. corn, corn has literally maybe one bad album, and it's the, it's the uh, dubstep one. Yeah, literally all their other albums are at least good. I thought they wrote "Word Up" for a very long time. I didn't realize that was cameo. Yeah, that's funny that you thought that because it does not sound like a yeah, corn song. Yeah, pretty ladies. That was the first corn song I ever heard. <laughs> Around the world as a new. There are lots of good new metal bands. New new metal bands coming. Yeah, up. Code Orange is good. Yeah, Code fucking uh, new new metal should be called Future Metal. Ooh, that's future. or Present Metal or Present, present Metal. metal. Yeah. The present. Ghost of Metal Past. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Vane, Vane's a great band. I don't know if anybody knows Vane. Mm. The kind of new metal uh, They might yeah. not like me saying that. I don't think they consider themselves new Vane. metal. Vane. Ah, <laughs> oh, I invented the riffs. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I mean, yeah. yeah new metal rocks. New metal's mm. awesome. Limp Bizkit's great. Dude, lo- that fucking Lollapalooza set Lollapalooza was so, set's great. That look is mm. so fucking cool. Yeah, Wes Borland, incredible guitarist. Awesome. Crystal Machete. Cute. Um... You know, all everything he touched. DJ Lethal. I miss Fred Durst's hat, though. I think that yeah. kind of made his look. The new yeah, look is so much. The, mu- the is wig so is so sick, dude. He He's looks aged amazing. like a fine wine. He really has. He looks cooler than ever. And a, his stage a box of wine. <laughs> yeah, Frenzia. Frenzia Durst. My next Frenzia Durst. <laughs> yeah. My next song parody is Limp Bizkit. Oh, really? I, got, I, got, I have do. it recorded. I just got to edit it. Keep sucking, sucking, sucking. The, the hook is... I just want to get AIDS. So. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You heard it here first on the Loud Boys. A little preview. So what's in the news? We saw Al Franken at the comedy store last <laughs> you year. Saw the the comedy store. Store. Oh, it was cool. Yeah. What's that monster doing? Yeah. Looking for a woman to yeah, fucking Yeah, he went broke? up there and was like, so who's got some titties I can touch? Yeah. Who's got Al's the... back on the prowl. Yeah, so is that, is he that can goose still to honking? Well, where, yeah. where, 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 where was this? the comedy cellar. Yeah, well, guess what? Loud Boys will never perform at the comedy cellar <laughs> yeah. because they led uh, Predator because Al of Franken. Because complete lack of talent from all three of them. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh>, Dalton. <laughs> stop defending, defending Al Franken. Yeah, stop Don't defriending defriend. him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an Al Franken supporter, all Why? right? In Dalton's defense, you don't get to a million friends without making a few enemies. That's true. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the title of something he That's said? That's the tagline for the social network. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember that? It's a really deep cut. Does anyone remember 11 Referencing years? Referencing the tagline. Does anyone remember posters like from a, 11? I'm, well, look, I just think, you know, I know we all think like a million co- dollars is cool, right? But you know what's really cool? What? A billion dollars. One billion dollars. <laughs> you know, uh, we all know a million dollars is very cool. And that's it, because that's the highest number I know. <laughs> On any other podcast, to would be like, what is he doing? But it's like, oh, this is the Loud Boys, and they, the fans must know that this kind of thing is going to happen. What? <laughs> By this kind of thing, you mean the greatest comedy of our generation? Yeah. I've oh. invented a social media platform that people's ants will use to say that Donald Trump is in the Denver airport <laughs> sucking off Janis Joplin. <laughs> Boomers are going to share everything. I invented Grinder. <laughs> I invented Grinder because gay sex is, makes me laugh. I can't hold on to the voice. That was not bad. That's it, a really it, funny reason to invent to yeah. dance. Yeah. Doctor, Doctor Evil. Gay guys are funny. Doctor Evil. Do- Grinder is doing great numbers. You gay guys are disgusting yes, what, to me. What are the numbers? Uh, Sixty nine, four twenty. <laughs> Number two. What's more evil than being gay? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why be straight when you could be <laughs> gay? <laughs> oh, be gay. Oh, be gay. Starting a gay dating app where you're not going to see the sex. You're just going to know that you're facilitating it. Yeah, that's, just like when he would, just like locking Austin Powers in a room and just trusting that he'll die. 
you, you trust that the gay men are having sex. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Austin Power Bottom. Thank you. Yeah, yep, Thank yep, you. Yep. Yeah. Rockin' Power Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor Evil. I'm positive, baby. Yeah. That. I mean, that's honestly, good. that's a great uh, Austin Powers movie. Is Doctor Evil travels back in time to the '80s and invents AIDS. AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then Austin Powers and fat bastard spreads crack in the black community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, all, and then Austin Powers has to go back to the '80s. And he teams up with like have gay sex and do crack. Have, well, yeah, he 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 kind of gets lost in the eighties for a little bit. And I've does... encountered a woman I'm not horny for, a black woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I I can't believe I'm dating Whitney Houston, man. Oh, uh, I guess he did fuck Beyonce. I take it back. Austin Powers is not racist. Well, no, I was gonna say he's got to team up with like I don't know, like Ice Cube or some shit and. The, you know, and that's the cool N W N W A, but instead of attitude, it's Austin. N, N W Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what the movie's that's called. Yeah. <laughs> Is N W Austin Powers? <laughs> and it's when Doctor Evil goes back to the eighties and invents AIDS and Fat Bastard invents <laughs> crack. It's present in the black community. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then Derek Chauvin, pet detective, shows up. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's a crossover we've all been wanting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, eighties nostalgia. Mini Me is actually dead because he smoked crack <laughs> and he started. <laughs> Well, no, he smoked crack and he started coughing and his little uh, midget lungs couldn't handle it and he hemorrhaged and collapsed in a pool of his own blood. Me! Yeah, he was like... (laughs) (laughs) What's wrong, Mini-Me? It's just like cocaine. You love that. Yeah, what's wrong, Mini-Me? Just a little crack. (laughs) It's very sad because his real death is so depressing. Why? He He break himself to death. He 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 fucking died of alcohol poisoning. (laughs) <laughs> and all of his friends had like tried to save him and he just he, was so fucking depressed well, that's because what happened. he One was night, he was treated like you know a freak and wow. <laughs> I mean, the well, thing what is, are we gonna do? He's not human. That's what yeah, the well, what said. happened was, is one night Vern Troyer drank three regular sized beers and died, and he it killed him. He thought it was Austin Powers mojo. Yeah, he, he Vern Troyer instead of his usual thimble of uh, <laughs> yeah, but apparently he's he was as like big as a liter of Campari. I was I reading know. that he was like abusive to his girlfriend or something, and it's like <laughs> that sounds very funny. Yeah, yeah he I mean, climbed geez. on her he's back. Like, and he's like punching her shin. She has like a tiny bruise on her shin. I, I, I can just imagine Virtue trying to be like Ratatouille with his girlfriend, just like trying to guide her like, yeah. on, on oh her fucking God. head. May he rest in peace. Yeah, very let's sad. Not, like, let's not besmirch the dead. No. Oh well. Yeah, he was very sad that people didn't treat him like a serious. Oh actor. shit, he won't be in the new Austin Powers movie. What's well, funny about it's like, what is he gonna play besides? I know. Well, also, no, he's not he's just not a great a actor. Person, he's also mini me. <laughs> like he's he's typecast. He's also he's also he, little littler than most it, like midgets. Like, he's yeah. tiny. It was tiny. Get me the feet. smallest one. <laughs> That's and, it. Yeah, yeah it's he also, like a Kramer was also three feet tall. It's like you're not playing <laughs> anything else. And, dude. and also, yeah. I don't think he was like a good actor. He was just in that in the Love Girl. I guess I've never heard him. Yeah, talk. he wasn't Peter Dinklage. <laughs> yeah. That's that's true. Was, the, was, the Chad little <laughs> dude. Chad Peter Dinklage dude, yeah. versus <laughs> Incel Vern Troyer. Two foot eight. <laughs> Damn, dude. dude. I mean, it's so I mean, look sad. Look at that face. Look at that. He was two foot, foot eight. eight. Can you imagine if Joe can was we, four can we inches the <laughs> can we, can we, Four inches taller. <laughs> can we pull? Oh my I god. Mean, I mean, but look, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Hey, where did you get that? Where did you get that shirt? shirt? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> Joe is dressed Please just like me. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> guys, damn, how did you get that? Dude? Who's this Taylor, dude? Me. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something though. Vern Troyer looks exactly like Lewis. How does he get those clothes? Yeah, how does he get that drip, dude? <laughs> Can we, All right. Is it legal to pull up his sex tape? Because yeah. he did fuck. <laughs> All oh, right, what's in the news? I'm, I'm. Uh, well, he go, he gets all of his clothes. <laughs> he gets all of his clothes from Geppetto. Damn, I think he has bigger shoes. I'm wearing than I prescription do. clothes. Damn, he must right have now. had a huge cock. Well, yeah, it's a trog. Yeah, didn't you hear that in like the fucking third Austin? 
Does he have oh, any Doc? I haven't seen Goldmember in like 15 oh, years. Well, oh, you should. Uh, Goldmember's fucking... tight. But yeah, Sam's joining us for the My uh, word, watch you along. got yourself a By the way, for the $25 day. Sopranos tier, we are watching Goldmember and uh, yeah. a live watch along. So, mm-hmm. in the so words join of a, the $25 in, tier. Yeah, in the words of a person I respect, fuck you, pay us, dude. Pay $25. Fuck you, pay me. Yeah. Yeah. Henry Give us fuck you, gay me is what you guys Fuck you, say. gay. Give yeah. us money. Fuck or... you, gay me? <laughs> fuck Give you, us, gay Give us money me? or we'll find out where you live and we'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, mini me. <laughs> we'll kill you. Give us <laughs> money. Fuck you, mini me. Yeah. We want money, dude. Yeah, we yeah. live like kings. <laughs> we thought of a funny thing. <laughs> Put Give a... us money. We thought we thought whatever we wanted. Shark with a laser beam on his head? <laughs> fuck you, mini me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I always dreamed of being horny. Met, uh, horny. <laughs> as far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be horny. <laughs> By the, as far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be family guy. <laughs> yeah, as far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be family guy. <laughs> and then you play the theme song. I, I, said, I sent Robbie a voice memo of that on Facebook like three years ago, and I had the theme well, song. Well, yeah, Sam know. and I used to like love doing the Goodfellas theme parodies like back and forth. Like I would do it as Harvey Weinstein, like... As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a rapist. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. So. We have so many. I think I definitely have the most Facebook messages of anybody with Robbie. Yeah. Just yeah, hours and hours. We're of, gay. We're, we're very gay. gay. <laughs> we're both gay guys. Interesting. Gay guys. Yeah, we do, the, we do very dumb voice Ooh, memos with Constantly. Yikes. <laughs> And uh, Sam will do it, extend that into the street. We were just walking around <laughs> Avenue A doing Peter at each other. and uh, Just autistically. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> I had to get just... out of my system before coming here. Yeah. yeah. I'm very tempted being next to this guy to just do the Peter. Two Peter. And... <laughs> 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 See, it's terrible. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh, maybe I get why the audience hates me so much. <laughs> no, nah, fuck They're going to fucking dude. hate me now. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Fuck, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm friends with Robbie. They're going to be like, wow, this guy's a fucking retard. Wow, Robbie knows a lot of faggots <laughs> Cause he is one. <laughs> you guys, um, I just downloaded Crash gay pornography. Yeah. Gay pornography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cr- uh, it's called gay pornography called Crash, uh, band, uh, band, band, band cock. Mm. Cra- I crash, guess. crash, crash, mandacock, crash, yeah. mandacock, okay. crash, mandacock, crash into shoot, crash, S- suck, mandacock, suck, suck, mandacock. suck, mandacock. Yeah, that's really good. I just downloaded the I suck, mandacock. The boys. That's just, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to suck my cock. I just downloaded the suck, mandacock, give, give brain trilogy. <laughs> And um, Mandacock, so suck Mandacock. That's so fucking good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, suck Mandacock. I'm sucking a cock. 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 That's what he sounds like when he's sucking a dick. I'm sucking a cock. That's what all the girls do when they sit there with me. They always go, I'm sucking a cock. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Crack Bandicoot. <laughs> crack Bandicoot. And crash, ba- crash Bandicoot more like Suck Bandicoot. Suck Bandicoot. <laughs> it is more like that. Suck Bandicoot. You want to. I also got like. You wish to climb my castle and suck my dick. <laughs> Well, you're gonna have to get through uh, a, a bunch of men, a bunch of a bunch of other men first. <laughs> I got like five hours of sleep last night, so this is really gonna yeah. be good. Uh, my defenses suck are man down. Suck You wanna suck my dick first? You're gonna have to suck Ripper Roo's dick. You're gonna have to suck Potar <sighs> Phil Phil Potaru. Instead of an I, N I, on his hat, it's the grinder logo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know very little about. I just only know the name. Really, I can't. I don't know That's any all of the lore. Is. Oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Neo Morse. I remember like the fucking. Ne- I remember the Bandicoot. Yeah, I don't remember much else. Well, he Crash. was like meant to be like better than Sonic and cooler than Mario. He is, dude. Crash Crash Bandicoot is the coolest. Video no, game Sonic character. Shadow. No. Yeah, Sonic's no. pretty well, cool. Shadow is Sonic's pretty cool. pretty fucking cool, dude. Yeah, yeah, Crash is like wacky and goofy, but Sonic is. Fucking if you saw cool. Sonic on Saturday morning TV when you were a kid. You would have loved it. Yeah. You stop. You stop when I never Sonic did because I was busy playing Crash Bandicoot. Mm. When when Sonic got a skateboard and skated down the city, that was wild. That was the coolest yeah. thing I've well, ever Cra- seen. In Crash my Bandicoot could ride a wild boar. Your girlfriend, Robbie. Oh my oh. god, just just destroyed. That's that's that makes why. me really. I'm, I have to take a break. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh jeez! Click, really upset. click, boom! <laughs> now that's new bad metal. new pedal. So yeah. why sucks? Why? Fucking dick. I, that one's click, cool. Click, click, boom! Click, click, boom! Do you it's think that was that blow. was the song that inspired the Columbine shooters? <laughs> Wasn't it? Yes. No. Columbine. Oh, is that Colin Terrell's new name? 
Columbine. Columbine. Hoi tat, hoi tat, hoi. Time to, uh, t- time to execute this school. Hmm. Yeah, school's out for some forever. Man. They should have blast the combine shooters should have blasted that. Oh, <laughs> school's yeah. out for damn. <laughs> or the boys are back. That'd be town. a very. That sounds like a very black pill. Like, All right, what, what to song? See on what song yeah. would you play for your high school shooting? Uh, uh, people equal shit. <laughs> I'm gonna do fucking badass. Twisted sisters. We're not gonna take it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, what you say? No, mm-hmm. that's hack. Uh, uh, fuck. Let me. Girls think. just want to have fun. Mm. I'm just a girl by no I'm doubt. Just a girl, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a girl. Please, God. <laughs> this doesn't mean I'm trans. Yeah. <laughs> I just like I ska. I just like the song. I like ska music. <laughs> I like high energy female rock lead sing- I actually do like that. It was between this and Less Than Jake, and I feel like more people would know this one. Mm-hmm. Less Than Jake Flores. Less Than Jake Flores, Ooh. yeah. Boom. Oh. We're going after everyone. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Less than Jake, more like suck than dick. Is that good? <laughs> suck, suck than, than dick. dick. <laughs> wow. I've been working on a Slayer parody. I have to like... Gayer? Yeah, of course. Gayer. And Rain it, and cum? No, that's good. It was um, uh, Angel of Death, but Anal of Sex. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> suck dick. The meaning of gay. <laughs> I'm gay because I want to fuck guys. I haven't. I don't have the whole thing worked out. Yeah, no. I, you know, creativity takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you shouldn't rush the true artist. Don't. Yeah, you can't force it. <laughs> Look at Kanye, man. He takes his time. Mm-hmm. I'm a certified lover boy. I think. Oh, I am gonna be work. I'm gonna do a song called "Certified Boy Lover." With Drake <laughs> off a six-year-old. Hell yeah! I'm gonna like. I think I'm gonna do the whole like the whole three-minute song. Oh, nice! Really do it. He hey, did, he hate was... to say I'm fucking sixteen-year-olds, but I think that's okay in Canada. Well, yeah, it's cha- legal. Change it to six, and you got you got basically by song. Oh, okay, so <laughs> right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Certified boy lover. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, Drake. Drake was like trying to get in, trying to <laughs> fuck that. Uh, Millie Stranger Bobby, thing. Millie yeah, Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. I think he did fuck her, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I bet, he ate, I bet he ate her little fucking pussy. Dude. <laughs> All right. I bet, he had his, <laughs> I bet he had his fucking big black eye tongue r- running up and down that S- yeah. child fucking body. Say it slower. Eighth right. grade. Yeah. Do you love me? <laughs> I bet he. I bet he fucking found her clitoris. I, I might like really. Seconds. Yeah, look. dude. I'll bet. I'll bet. If you were a pedophile, you, the best part is probably really impressing a child. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Dude, imagine how fucking. Slick. Oh my God. Why oh, is he Jesus. with her? All right. Yeah. You ditch the hard drive. Get rid of it. Oh my god! I, I, Bobby, I, I, throw I, it I, in this, the river. This, this might this this statement might really for aid the list, badly. For the listener, we're looking at a picture. <laughs> we're looking at what will be submitted into evidence one yeah. day. It's a picture of Drake uh, and Millie Bobby Brown. That Millie Bobby Brown. That fuck it really like, bothered real, me. Real online boy. What's the youngest you've ever fucked? Oh, don't ask him that. <laughs> I mean, when I was in college, I like, lost my virginity to an 18-year-old. Yikes. <laughs> nice. But, uh, this is my age badly. It really might. But as of right now, I don't think that Drake like fucked a 14-year-old. I don't. Why not? I just don't think so. I just I think, think, I think, I think. I think. I think the most damning thing is he produces that show Euphoria, where the whole thing's like, what if like there was some hot does high he produce schoolers? That? Yeah, he does. Okay, I take uh, it back. Yeah, like the whole... I mean, he was on Degrassi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was on Degrassi. Dead assy, yeah. yeah. I mean, Jeez. so would you have sex with a 14 year old if you knew you could? All right, Jesus. Hmm. Don't Welcome back it. to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> hey, Sam. Well, first I'd buy him an iPad. Sam, okay? Sam, I gotta, the gotta the answer him up. to that question is no. He, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. Of course, yeah, yeah. fucking no. <laughs> Now, this, I know we're not, we're on gas station. We're not on compound media. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so, it is so funny that you have convinced Anthony that you've that he's been on the show. He is. Hey, Sam, he has been on this show. No. All right, well, I guess. <laughs> no. Yes, we're gonna have Anthony Cumia no. back on the show. I misspoke. Soon. It's so funny that you had Anthony Cumia on Thank the show. Thank you, Sam. Yes. And yes, that he, that and that he remembers that he was. It's funny that he remembers being. I on can't this believe show. he even remembers us. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> It's wonderful how things work out. <laughs> it really made me fucking laugh. Right story. And I just, I just fantasize about you getting him in here and just being like, we just want to give you a chance to tell your side of the yes, story. Yes. Why did you buy that 14 year old an iPad? That's the plan. That's well, the plan is okay. to be like, all right, so last time, because I mean, when we had him on, he was like very drunk and it was yeah. like, we didn't get a lot out of him. Right. Mm-hmm. I want to get him back on the show and really let him state his case. Yeah. <laughs> the try. Of Anthony Cumia. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have Chip Chipperson as the defense oh, lawyer. God, yeah. I was I was the telling Robbie boys are gonna wear those old school judges wigs that are powdered and shit. Now my oh. client might be a simple country pedophile, <laughs> a simple Long Island pedophile. <laughs> what would you guys have done if I showed up 
uh, dressed exactly like Chip Chipperson and doing the Chip Chipperson character. <laughs> would you have liked it? I would right. have. I would have pretended not to be irritated and then probably uh, I message have... Robbie privately and then like uh, no more like, of your yeah. friends allowed on the show. <laughs> yeah. From now on, from now on, it's just the three boys. <laughs> Actually, the two boys. <laughs> I'm off the show because of a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, Robbie's I actually really banned. fucked the show up by doing two hours of Chip Chipperson. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know what he. I've seen thirty seconds because I had to turn it off because it sucks so fucking. Oh hey, yo, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Loud Boys loves Chip. We think Chip Chipperson's a great Easy, bit. Uh, Mr. Sam. Norton, just uh, don't bother listening to oh, today. Mr. Norton, what are you talking about? Jim Norton, what does that have to do with Chip <laughs> Chipperson? <laughs> Oh Sam, <laughs> buddy, we got we got some news for you. What? Uh, there, there. It's the same guy. Nope. Have you seen Fight Club? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, Chip Chipperson is Jim Norton. Is he in, ti- is he in Fight Club? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. They're Jim, I mean, there's Jim a there's oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. There his are a name few, was Chip Chipperson. There are his a name few similarities. Chip Chipperson. There are a few similarities. Like they're both friends with Anthony Cumia, but <laughs> other than that, I can't think of. They have very different styles and. I, Real oh, online fuck. boy, you've done it now. Yeah, that makes me oh, laugh. So. Jesus, <laughs> Honestly, oh. a guy who loves Jim Norton wait, what, hates Chip Chipperson. Wait, what about a guy? Vice versa. Yeah, but I was gonna say, what's, if, a guy fucking hates Jim Norton but loves Chip Chipperson. Yeah. Hey, Sam, do you do you like do you like uh, Hannah Montana? Do you also like Miley Cyrus? Because I got something to tell you, brother. What? They're the same person. No, they're yeah. not. He, I, yeah. Hey, you like you like Miley Cyrus? You like Hannah Montana? I fucked both of them. <laughs> about 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Before, about, about 15, 15 years, years ago. ago. Damn, yeah. She, yeah, she was be legal. Damn, yeah. that's, I'm old, I guess. Yeah, yeah dude, I still that, think of Miley Cyrus as like a young person. I know, isn't it? Dude, like how about Selena Gomez? She's like a fucking woman, too. Yeah, she's in the Steve then, like, Martin, remember, Martin short yeah, show. Yeah, I remember. She's actually pretty good. God, looking at her like she's a little girl, but she's a fucking woman. I gotta be honest with you guys. When, when Tom Myers told us his favorite, like, hot... Older chick was Selma Hayek. Mm-hmm. That's a I was, good pick. That's a. I was looking at a picture of her breasts. Yeah, dude, big ass Melkers. Dude. Jesus, dude, I'm like, fucking horny. Selma Hayek is like top shelf right now. Woo! Oh, I check love that. Yes. yes. Whenever yes. we mention a hot girl, they, it comes <gasps> up so quick, and I love it. Yes. God damn, dude, oh, those man. are. I mean, it's you just know like it's still really hot. Is uh, fucking Amy from season two of Sopranos. The fucking uh, like redheaded movie. Oh, the lady. D girl. Yes. I love her. Dude, she's my she's, favorite. She's, she's my biggest crush in Sopranos, and still like she's like forty five, and she's dude, still fucking hot. I think her, I dude. think Olivia Munn is hot now that she's pregnant with John Mulaney. Hi, before, I'm before John disgusting. Mulaney, and I fucked Olivia Munn. Dude, Olivia Munn looks fucking stupid now. She's <laughs> yeah, getting dude. fucking plastic <laughs> surgery, and look, she looks like a big old fish. I think they're gonna be together in fifty years. I think they're gonna be dude, happy I, for I, fifty I watched, years. Watched, they're gonna make it. That, uh, I watched them at Seth. Myers and they're like and he's like and you know I'm having a kid and he seems so there's no joy. Yeah, at because all. he's having a coke baby yeah. with fucking Olivia. I, the, I, the attack of the show, bitch. Yeah. I don't want to have a kid. Yeah, look at her. She's getting work done. Look how high her cheeks are now. She's, I had a huge crush on her when I was like 15. She's 41. Isn't that baby going to be like Down syndrome? Yeah, that kid's yeah. going to come out retarded, dude. Yeah, yeah they're let making, me tell you something. They're a making woman, a fucking my mixed kid race is retarded. retard. Yeah. Let me, let me my tell you. kid's retarded. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something, fellas. After uh, the age of 17, the female pussy goes sour fast. <laughs> Yeah, all right. They're like McDonald's you gotta, burgers. You gotta get They're them good the, when yeah. you get them, yeah. but then two days later, no, uh, yeah, G four chromosomes. Yeah, mm. G four G horror attack of the. I won't even, you, you shouldn't even try to get a fucking woman over twenty six pregnant. Attack I mean, least. dude, attack of the dr- the dome. Yeah, that's like fucking that's what the John Mulaney thing is funny dick. to me because suck, 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 suck of the dick, a suck of the dick, a suck of the dick, a suck of the dick on G fuck, on G fuck, yeah. yeah, a suck of the dick on gay fuck. Yeah, I really love Olivia Fuck from a suck of the dick yeah. on G fuck. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Pereira me. Yeah, yeah, I'm Kevin Pereira me. Uh, this uh, is uh, this, this is, is Olivia. F- Olivia, fuck. fuck. <laughs> and Olivia welcome back. Fuck. Welcome back to a ta- uh, uh, suck of the big on G Fox. We also have Adam <laughs> Sexler here with we us. We have Adam oh, Sexler wow. and I more of these fucking names. It's so <laughs> Adam that was my favorite programming oh. when I was thirteen. One of the I think back on times I've truly wasted my life, and there were days when I get home from high school and I would watch Attack of the Show at four p.m. and then I would rewatch the same episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, and then yeah. I just saw as it, of. 
completely disposable gaming news. Yeah, you're just like, well, so well, yeah, I got it. Well, I, I got to see what Ninja Gaiden looks like again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Tom Clancy's Rambo Six Two looks fucking sick. Yeah, again, oh, I, love, hate, wait. I love looking at ten seconds of footage the, from you're it. You're telling the me there's gonna be a bits. Halo Two? Yeah. <laughs> well, I love watching video game footage and the comedy of Kevin Pereira. <laughs> yeah, the, the riffing of Kevin Pereira and Olivia Munn written that afternoon. Damn, yeah, dude. yeah. Oh my, the dude, daily riffing. What a dream that must have been to work for G4. You get to go to E3, you just clock in for a writing job you barely care about. You get to look <laughs> at Olivia Munn because they did hire a lot of hot girls. Yeah, oh, yeah that's, how, that's how they got. Like, I remember the getting very horny. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would doubt the sense. Yeah, doubt. yeah. <laughs> hey, I also remember getting very horny. Yeah, I, I used guys, to. It's, it was the reason I was late getting here. <laughs> <laughs> I used to download the video podcast and put it on my iPod Classic of the Attack of the Show sex segment. It's like th a three minute video. I would download and put on my iPod and get very horny. I do remember it. the sex oh, segment. Oh, porn on the iPod was fun. The sex you segment on Attack of the Show yep. did get me horny as well. Yeah, they're yeah. talking about sex. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm 15, and they're hot it's girls. Like, I'm Olivia yeah. Munn, and I like getting fucked without a condom, <laughs> as you can tell by my. Uh, yeah. bastard child I'm having with John Mulaney. Do you think they're gonna get I'm married? gonna fuck you in the ass. <laughs> That's so cool, man. He got to fuck her without Imagine. a condom. Bust inside. What did I, well, cause he was... Calm down. He was... <laughs> Man, dude, how cool that's is not, that? That's, yeah, that's not that cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool to bust inside of Olivia Munn. It's cool to be there. Not, not if she gets pregnant. Yeah, and it's even cooler, dude. He's having a baby. Dude, imagine you get to. You it's get so to fucking hot you to have a baby. You get to look at her stomach and go, yeah, dude, they're having a hot baby. <laughs> they, that is going to be a hot kid. No, Mulaney's it's not because she got all this work done. So it's going to be she like. She was hot natural. before the work, though. Not that is hot. She, work, she looks shitty pretty. with the work done. I want yeah. Pull up 2005 Olivia Munn. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're we're going to have to get out of here. Pull on up now. Olivia Munn bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Pull up <laughs> Olivia Munn feet. There we uh, go. See, look, she's so, what is she like, mis oh, mixed race or something? She looks all natural. Yeah, she looks kind of like she's Pacific half, Island. She's like Patty Harrison kind she's of. She's part she's Japanese yeah. like me. She yeah. looks like me. She looks awesome. She's very charming if you're like 14 and have never had sex. Well, and also she played the angle of like, I'm just like such a geek girl. I'm like a girl. I remember <laughs> when I was like, <laughs> I'm just lying. I'm just lying. I'm just lying. I'm just lying. <laughs> ah, it's me, Olivia Munn. Ah. <laughs> All right, we got we, 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 we got to take a break. We got to come back for the Patreon. <laughs> bye, right. goodbye, All fuck right. face. That's Give us bye, money everybody. or I'll kill wait, you. Wait, wait, uh, Lincoln Lodge, please, everyone, please, fucking get tickets. Lincoln uh, Lodge. The the both shows, the ticket for both shows is halfway sold out right now. Yeah. So jump on those. Yeah. And otherwise, it, just please get tickets. The Seven live, p.m. The, li the live stand up. Seven p.m. The we live. Have uh, Nick Oldershaw on both shows. September 18th, 7 o'clock p.m. is the stand-up show. 9.30 p.m. is the podcast. I will have t-shirts to sell. Sam will be dropping and offering gay sex whoever <laughs> yes. wants it. Yeah, dude. And we're going to get deep dish and pizza. And free t-shirts for everybody. <laughs> no, 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 free t-shirts for everybody. T-shirts are not free. 7.14 p.m.